I call this card construction the tunnel cube. It's a cube, but if you don't look at the cards and look instead at the holes, you'll see there are 14 tunnels out from the center. Six are square tunnels that come out in the middle of the cube's faces, and eight are triangular tunnels that come out in the corners. All the tunnels continue straight through the opposite side. It's interesting that 14 tunnels are made with 12 cards, so each card contributes 7 sixths of a tunnel. You can figure out how that works as you make one. Here's the template. Trace this card out on 12 cards and cut out the 10 slots in each card. I can cut a deck at a time using a bandsaw, but you can do it with scissors. Then fold each card on the diagonal which is already partly cut. I'm folding the face to the inside so the back of the card is on the outside. A metal ruler or a sharp table edge can help you make a crisp crease. Then let it naturally unfold part way. Notice there's an arrow shaped cut in the corners and two short notches on the sides. The basic joint is to connect one arrow to one pair of short notches. Start by sliding the longer of the two notches, the diagonal one, up into the longer of the arrow tips. Then the shorter parts can just snap into place. All the connections are just like this. You have to make 24 of them. The trick to getting it right is to visualize the cube. Think of its four-fold rotational symmetry around the center of each face and three-fold rotational symmetry around the long diagonal. You have to assemble the cards in a way that creates that symmetry. After you have two cards together, add a third that connects with both of them to make a three-way cycle. The numbered corner on the three cards come together around a triangular tunnel. This will become one corner of the cube. Make a second cycle of three cards in exactly the same way, and then connect the two modules to make a square tunnel. You're joining a V to a V by making two connections. This becomes one face of the cube. Visualize the rest of the cube. To finish, add one card at a time, being careful to make a square tunnel in each face of the cube and a triangular tunnel at each corner of the cube. As you work, try not to bend the cards too much. And it takes some care to get the last piece in. It has to make four connections. But when you're done, you'll have a cube with 14 tunnels. To understand how 12 cards make 14 tunnels, notice that around any card, there's a four-sided, three-sided, four-sided, and three-sided opening. One card contributes a quarter of the four-sided openings, but a third of the three-sided openings. So each card contributes a quarter plus a third plus a quarter plus a third to the total. And when you multiply that by 12 cards, you get 14 total. Make one. And when finished, you can stand it up on a corner. Or make a bunch and imagine how if you pack them together to fill all of space, the tunnels would continue straight through forever.